Healthcare is changing and UC Health is actually leading the way. Yeah, with powerful technology, groundbreaking research and a commitment to patient care, they're redefining what's possible. So how do they turn data into life-saving solutions? Let's find out. UC Health has a strong commitment to drive innovation, but that's only possible if we have the best digital infrastructure and the best tools, a combination of computers and people and data. The data is how we understand the patients better and their diseases. We use data uh, to innovate data that is typed in the computers from monitors, sensors. We put all those things together to produce better diagnosis, better treatments, and better health. AI can process data from multiple sources, and that can provide with our people the best insight possible. We are harnessing tools like new technologies, artificial intelligence, and not only will we continue to do clinical research, we'll do it better and faster and get more cures more quickly. Research is hope. I would define clinical research as not only the clinical care that we provide every day, but adding in the opportunity to participate in a research study where for a given disease, we're trying something new, whether that be a new approach to care, a new medicine that might improve the care and outcome of a patient, or a new device that helps us do a procedure. The fact that we have a treatment for stroke is because of work done here at the University of Cincinnati in our acute stroke clinical trials. We're testing a new cellular therapy to see if it will stop multiple sclerosis. We are doing innovative work in cancer, including a vaccine therapy that might cure pancreatic cancer. We've watched Dr. John Bird, one of our cancer doctors and our chair of internal medicine develop a new treatment that seemingly stops leukemia in its tracks. Our team is very interested in using technology to enhance clinical research, understanding what might be happening to people in between visits. Our team is leveraging technology to help us identify cognitive change much earlier. We can track how people are doing across time we also have help in testing by introducing an AI-based tool called Cognica. And simply by people determining yes or no, we can take a measure of the brain and know where somebody might be in their cognitive processing. And our goal is to get there where we might someday just take your blood and say, oh, here are your risk factors, here are the specific interventions that we can give you to help you prevent a dementia. We have to find new treatments to improve the outcomes for patients. We can do a lot of other things better than a computer. So the combination of what we do better with that superpower that comes from AI is making us even more efficient to improve how we treat diseases and more importantly, how we cure diseases.